Amy Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do candy floss, bucket of spade, a cool big lollipop and um, I'm trying to remember what I did. Candy floss, bucket and spade, stick of rock. I want to do a stick of rock. A lot of us at the moment might not be able to go to the beach because of lockdown. Um, not necessarily because it's still locked down but some of us might not be able to. Um, and it's quite busy out there. So I'm gonna bring the beach to you. I think I just draw on the wall. So all we need, pencil, paper. Let's start off with, oh, before, before, I, before I begin, before I begin, I wanna show you, I've shown you already, but I'm gonna show you again, because it's the theme of the, what I'm doing this week. So this is my cupcake. And then this is my ice creams that I painted. Then this is the candy floss and the awesome like lollipop. So that's what I want to create today for you. That's what I want to sort of do. I want to do a collection of really cool, fun things that you'll find at the beach. So first of all, let's do a stick of rock. So I'm going to go up. Just a line, that's all it is, just a line round about there. Then a little line like that, and then back again. Try and get it so it goes all the way down to the page. And here is almost like a little smile. It's not straight across, it's like a little smile. Then you're going to go up, up, like that. A bit like it reminds me of a roof of a house a little bit. Then you're going to go da-da-da, da-da-da. Because on, I um, can't think of anything to say today, you know when your head's a bit, ooh. Um, a stick of rock is going to be, it's wrapped up in cellophane, in plastic, so we're going to draw the plastic. So you're going to do this, you're going to do a line, and then whoa, then whoa. So if you can't see what I'm doing, I'm doing like a C shape, if you can see that in the video, and then join up. Because this becomes the cellophane now wrapped so you're just going to do a line each time you see the c-shape then lines going in at the end if that was too difficult to do pause the video and try and do it slowly because it's just supposed to look like the wrapping and then if you think about the stripes on an awesome stick of rock you can draw them in but first i want to draw the other big lolly so here, just maybe draw roundy bit because that's inside the rock. So you can do something inside. If you can't see what I've just done, it's like the inside bit there. Okay, now, now my little artists, now we're going to, now we're going to do the great big awesome, like I love this one. We're going to start off, nice big round circle, doesn't matter if you go over that stick of rock. So think of a snail shell, it's a bit like a snail shell and anything inside the snail shell we're gonna rub out. So rub that out, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now want the stick, the stick is with the lollipop so let's just do a normal stick like that. You can put it more in the middle if you like, doesn't matter. Normally these lollies, which taste delicious, normally you want to sort of draw, I won't draw it on there because it's still wet, but you want to do lines going round. Just a couple, don't do too many, so you can get a bit confusing. When that's dry I'll do more. But here, stick of rocks, they're normally stripey, but you don't need to do them stripey if you don't want to. I think they're stripey or they might be going down actually, I think they're more colourful when they're down. Now, here, I want to do the bucket and spade, but first we're going to do the candy floss. So what I'm going to do is touch about here, and I'm going to do a wobbly line, wobbly line, go up, down. This candy floss is behind the lolly, so you don't have to draw the whole thing, and the lolly sticks of the candy floss. Let's do it about there, it'll be fine. You can go a little bit in if you like, because it might look a bit strange if it's really, really wide. I'm going to rub out this bit here because I sort of didn't do it properly that bit. There we are. Okay, guys. Now, the candy floss is going to be different colours. It might be a pink or a blue or something. Now, we're going to do the bucket and spade. 
don't know if you can see my candy floss shape. It kind of gets smaller there, but I don't know. I'm going to draw it like this just for now. Now, we want to do a bucket. So think about an oval shape. Go over the candy floss. All is good. Then go down, down. And then when you get to the end, a bit like we did for the other videos, just join it up. And then what you want to do is anything, anything inside that, anything inside that, um, what do you call it? Bucket, bucket, anything inside the bucket, because this is your bucket now. Anything inside that you're going to rub out. Can you see that now the bucket looks like it's in front? That's how you make things look like it's in front. You kind of lightly draw over and rub out if you can't do it normally. Right, the spade, the spade, let's do the spade. So we're going to do a line, then you're going to go, whoop, and then whoop. And it doesn't matter how you do this, you could maybe do a straight one, you could do a square one, and you're going to go down into the bucket, into the bucket. And you know like a spade of when you're in the garden and you're just sort of digging, it's kind of like that because you're going to do a handle. So it's just the handle of the spade and we're rubbing out because the spade's handle is in front and inside the bucket. Most buckets on the beach have the handle. So we're just going to draw shapes that reminds me of a watsit. You know those yummy watsits you can buy? Do something like that there. Then you're going to do a chip, chip. And all you got to do is join them up to create, I wonder if it's still wet, go down, join it up. You can literally just no la 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 and then up like that. Doesn't matter if they're not completely connected. Here, if you wanted to, you could draw some shells or some pebbles. Might do a project on shells, I think. But I'm going to keep it simple for now. Might just do a line just to show that it's the bucket's on something. Right, now we're going to colour in. So I'm going to get coloured pastels. Love pastels. Um, and I'm just wondering if it's dry there because I can draw over it, couldn't I? Okay. Right, let's go. So first of all, I love the idea of a yellow bucket because it reminds me of sand. So I'm going to draw around. If you've got oil pastels, you can do the same. And actually, if you've got paint, you can do the same. So you choose what colour you want and it's okay how you do it. It doesn't matter if you don't have chalk. So you're going to smudge away. So we'll go yellow first. Do you know what? I want a red handle. I want something bright. If you think about being at the beach, some people don't like the beach, but most people like the beach. I love it. And I like making sand castles. And sometimes when there's not sand, it's still fun to go, isn't it? Um, because the spade handle is red, I think I might do this red, you know. So I'm going around, I'm not actually colouring the whole thing in. You could use this as a project if you have a homework for a summertime thing. Then we're going to smudge. I don't want to smudge too much because I want to make it look like it's almost 3D. Smudged it a little bit too much there with the red. Before you put the red on, you might want to smudge the yellow if you're, if you're going to have trouble. Um, so if you think, oh, I'm a bit scared, maybe smudge the yellow first and then do the red. But it doesn't matter, it's up to you. I quite like the idea of a blue bucket now. But anyway, it's up to you what you want to do. Um, what I think I might do is, because it's a yellow bucket, so it stands out, I might do an orange edge, you know. Because orange is close to yellow and orange is close to red as well. So that's cool. I like that. I like that. Okay. Candy floss. I mean, we've got to do it pink, haven't we? Let's be honest. So most candy flosses are pink. I think some might be blue. But to make it look like candy floss, you want to make sure you just colour a little bit of it. You could literally just get a nice clean finger and just smudge carefully but you want to leave some of it white because then it looks like it's more 3D it just looks kind of cool if you don't have a fluorescent pink do not worry you don't need a fluorescent pink you could do just a normal pink it's fine smudge away 
what you want to do is outline it. So I'm going to get a bit of a darker pink. And then I could just do the shadow of the darker pink just going up. And you can do this, as I say, with paint or anything you like. OK, so now it looks a bit more 3D. You might want to do a bit of white. So I'm going to get my white pastel. You might want to do a bit of white on top there. You can't see mine fully because I've got the, I've got the, the, what is it? Ah, I can't think of the word again. The pen. I've got the pen mark, so you know you can't see it properly. But now it's the fun part. It should be fun all of it, really. But <laughs> I'm just thinking I might do. I'm trying to think of colours for this one. Hmm. So I'm going to get like a turquoisey, a blue. No, oh, I quite like the pink again. Maybe a yellow? I like the idea of yellow. You could choose whatever colours you like. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to colour like a little bit. So maybe say there, yellow. It doesn't matter where you colour them as long as they're not all the same colour. So I'm going to do that. When it comes to the pink, it's got to be quite neat because it's quite a dark colour, isn't it? Okay, and then blue. So you could decide whatever colours you want. Imagine eating this one. Whew, I used to be allergic to a lot of the colours when I was small, but they make them differently now, don't they? So if I ate this when I was small, I would not be happy. <laughs> because I've had eczema on my skin. I had real bad eczema when I was a baby. Uh, some of you might have it now, but you end up growing out of it. And obviously you've got to watch what food you eat sometimes, haven't you? Brown. It can be a, any brown you like. There you go. And then you smudge away. Right, yellow smudging first. Like you did for the candy floss, you could smudge it but you, you do a darker edge. So I'm going to smudge this now. Smudge away. Ignore my um, tip X mark. Tricky, isn't it? Because you get messy with it. Right, to make it stand out. So you can see my one. I put a bit of a darker line and I made it look shiny. So what you do is you get a white and a black. So any colour, it could be a dark colour, it doesn't have to be a water black, but I'm going to, I think mine's like almost like a black. I'm just going to go inside there, and then you don't need to outline it too much. And it's getting a little bit messy. <laughs> okay, can you see how it stands out a lot more now? And that mistake, well not mistake, but that tip X line makes it almost look like it's um, shiny. But we're going to get a pastel that's white. And then I'm going to sort of draw over because then it makes it look shiny. It's a really cool way of doing it. If you haven't got a pastel, you could do it with something else. So say you've got paint, you can let it dry and do it with white paint. Now, I want a bit of shadow under here. Because it's nice if you've got shadow, it looks more realistic. My bucket's not looking as good as I would have liked, if I'm honest, so I might colour it a little bit more brighter, you know. It's okay to change your mind, by the way, for things. That's what art's all about, sort of looking at it and thinking, hmm. Right, this one, I'm going to do a super cool green and a dark purple. Oh, look at that. So I'm going to be like, hello, Mr. Green. What flavour do you think it would be if it's if it's green and purple? I don't know what it would be. I guess it could be mint. Not sure if I'd want that. Mint and blackcurrant. Ooh, that's an interesting mix. So be super careful if you can. I just kind of semi smudged my one. The actual plastic here would not be coloured, but I quite like the idea of colouring it in. Oh, doesn't that look cool? Looks like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> so smudging it in. If you find that you need to outline it, then just get a darker green if you want. And you could literally just outline it with a dark green if you want. Or outline the green 
with dark green and then outline the purple with some blue or something. I'm just going to quickly do that just so it stands out. Can you see how it stands out just a little bit more? Mine, as I say, is black pen, but yours won't be, so you might want to outline some of it. There we go, it's my sticker book. Cool. Now that's also shiny because of the cellophane, the plastic. So if you just do a couple of lines down, it'll look cool. Right, now I feel like I need to put something at the bottom there. What could we put? I want a light blue. So let's pretend it's on like a blue surface. Maybe it could be in the sea. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay, a bit of blue there, just for the picture's sake. Because I love finishing pictures off with colour. Right, and if it is on the blue surface, which might be, let's call it a table, it'll have a bit of shadow under it. So let's just do a bit of shadow there with chalk or whatever. There we go. And I still feel like I want to add more to my bucket. So guys, let's go. I'm going to do a red and yellow bucket. It just doesn't feel right to just keep it yellow for me. It might do for you, but I'm going to do it like a yellowy. Okay. okay, that's starting to feel better. It's not into perspective, so don't worry, as in your lolly would be smaller than your bucket but it doesn't matter because it's just a picture showing stuff now this you wouldn't have so do not worry just ignore all that you can't pretend you can't see that's fine so that is literally my bucket and spade and my sea if you like or a table then we've got the gorgeous candy floss if you wanted to you could get a darker pink and just kind of Put some lines in there to show that it's textured and then you can smudge the lines that's quite a nice way of doing it isn't it I quite like that and then you've got your awesome lollipop i'm loving the lollipop and then you've got your nice stick of rock so have fun doing that i mean i would probably continue and just put a background because it's really nice if this is like a card for someone my sister's birthday is coming up so it's nice to maybe, if she liked candy floss, I'd probably do her a candy floss one with a lollipop thing, like my paintings, and say happy birthday and do a nice coloured background. So don't be scared to try new things. Like if you want to try something it doesn't work out, that doesn't matter. It just means that you can, you know now, so you won't have to do it the next time. Okay. Ta-da! There you go, it's a different green this one. I like it. I like my different green. And then you want to spray it with hairspray if your parents have it. If not, I'm sure they can find you some. I'm just going to get the hairspray. You can't actually find the hairspray now I need it. But I had so, aha! Yes, I had so much hairspray and now I can't find it. So just any hairspray, you touch it from a distance or get your parents to, it might be easy because you don't want to inhale it. And you're just going to, I'm in a small room, so this might be interesting. <coughs> do it outside. I think do it outside is a good, 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 uh, good way forward. And there is your picture. Just pretend that's not there and you've got a full picture. So enjoy, subscribe, like and share and happy beach day. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>